Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a really exciting video for you. I'm going to be doing a bit of a different one for me. It is a reading my followers confessions out. So I did one of these ages ago and you all really liked it back at the time. It literally was like a year ago I last did one. So I thought, why not do one? It's funny, reading what you put. Um, obviously I'm going to be trying to give you advice and reacting to them. Um, my dress is from Yes Style. And my earrings are from Depop. I'm doing a Depop haul soon, so watch out for that. I'm just going to be reading your confessions. I said put whatever you want and you've, you've delivered, so I'm going to be reading them. Make sure you go like this video and comment down below. Um, which you comment how you find in lockdown. Comment that. Um, I mean, don't comment what I've just said. Comment the answer to my question. <laughs> You don't have to if you don't want to. Subscribe. And yeah, all of that. I've got an eyelash in my eye, so it really hurts. Ow. So if I keep like moving my eye, it's because of that. Not moving my eye, but you know what I mean. Let's just answer it. Okay. Let's go. Okay, 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 right. Um, people are putting assumptions. I did not ask for assumptions. I asked for your confessions, guys. Why are people... My boyfriend was me and i came on my period i bled all over his sheets we were, i wanted to die and i cried but it's okay we're still together oh my god <laughs> you know what you know what it's fine it is it's a normal thing it that i honestly promise you that has happened to more people than you think like trust me who was oh my god i thought my dad my dad's car and i was like why is he coming home so early but yeah um that has happened to more people than you think trust me but oh my god <laughs> okay um right let's read let's read this okay so i was 15 and i needed money one day this boy messaged me on snapchat asking for foot pictures offering to pay me a lot of money so obviously i did this it was all going well until, until i realized i'd given him my dad's card details <laughs> And all my hard-earned money had gone into my dad's bank account. Obviously, I couldn't tell him because he would freak. He found the transactions the next day and was confused. But little did he know that they came from me selling my feet. <laughs> I love that one. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, um, you've got to do what you've got to do, I know. If you need that money, sell pictures of your feet. I mean, I've never done it, but might in the future next one one time when i was at an indoor swimming pool when i was about eight i saw a lady's glasses by the bags so i decided to take them and put them in my bag <laughs> a bit random after she got out she was sh asking everyone in the changing room if they'd seen her glasses i had to act like i had didn't have them but i felt too guilty so then i told my mum i feel like going to the park and that i'll meet her at home so i went to the park and broke the glasses and hid them under the bench the next time i went back and put them in the bins so no one should find them honestly don't have a clue why i took the glasses i am honestly confused why would you take some random person's glasses for enough if it's like a nice top or something but glasses they're not even i mean even if you wear glasses they're not going to be the same as your prescription if they are that would be very rare um that is so random but like oh my god okay right i lost my virginity in my mate's garden i mean um cold <laughs> was it cold <laughs> or warm um <laughs> i'm not allowed my phone at night so i haven't got another one to use when mine gets taken away that is good thinking if my parents took my phone away at night i would definitely have a backup phone to use like, trust me. <laughs> okay. I once peed on my boyfriend's bed but blamed it on the dog and he shouted at the dog and I felt really bad. Why did you pee on your boyfriend's bed? <laughs> Was it an accident? <laughs> By purpose? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Once me and my friend went to this boy's house and I was speaking, who I was speaking to at the time, and he was kissing me and I just got the ick. So I asked to use the bathroom and texted my friend saying you need to have him and kiss him so he will stop kissing. You need, so I asked to use the bathroom and texted my friend saying you need to have him and kiss him so he will stop kissing me. And then I walked in and he was all over her and he didn't see the text. Really awkward. I'm so confused. I read this wrong but I kind of get where you're coming from. 
I mean, fair enough. I'm just a little bit baffled. I'm really confused. <laughs> okay, I sent a boy of a video of himself off my iPad and me saying how fit he was. Still the most embarrassing day of my life, especially since he said all the lads in the group are laughing at you. Oh no. <laughs> I think I would literally die. <laughs> I'm guessing it was an accident. Okay. Sometimes I get the urge to chill on a sponge. I never actually swallow it, just soak the sponge with water and chill on it. <gasps> no, that is this is gonna sound really weird. That is the best feeling ever, like the best taste ever. Like or a wet flannel. Sorry, is that really weird? <laughs> I actually agree with you though. <laughs> okay. Once I thought this man was my granddad and went up to him and hugged him and said, Hi granddad. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> okay I had a sex dream I don't want to get any monetized about my boyfriend's best friend oh <laughs> um, I mean do you fancy him or was it just a random dream because you know we, we do get them dreams sometimes <laughs> oh um, okay I have killed the pet gerbil and pretend it went missing to I need to tell my mum the truth. <laughs> no. <gasps> Personally, I wouldn't. <laughs> Probably the right thing to do is tell your mum, but I wouldn't tell my mum. I'd say my sister killed it or something. Um, I made out with my brother. Not sure if it's normal or not, but it was good. Okay, I really, 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 really hope you're joking. But if you're not, I mean... Um, is it full blood or step or what's go what's the circumstances? I once put hand gel all over my face and my face come out came out in a rush, I was bored. Cool. That is really cool. Well done to you. <laughs> um that actually reminded me, fun fact. I was rushing to school. I think I was in like year eight and I was doing my makeup because I used to wear like a full face of makeup to school, like in year eight, like it was a full face. Like when I say full face, it was cakey. And um, basically I had setting spray and it was like a spray one. But instead of putting the setting spray on, I put, closed my eyes and put hairspray all over. It was either hairspray or dry shampoo. And I put it all over my face. Honestly, it was horrible. That just reminded me of that. I don't know why. I told my friend I wanted to be an influencer and she said I was too fat. That ain't a friend. I mean... That, that's not nice and first of all no one's too fat to be an influencer <laughs> who says you have to be a certain size to be on so be a social media person that doesn't that that baffles me that honestly baffles me beauty isn't to do with your size like there's so many influencers that are not like that are not skinny so what that just that that baffles me my eyelash really hard okay 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 you're right this one looks interesting. Let's read this one. Okay, my eye is fine. When me and my friend had a sleepover, we decided to go on Amigle and we met this boy. He seemed really nice and he and he was nice until we became really protective and would constantly be asking where I was. Doing turns out he was a 25-year-old man and wanted to meet me or me and my friend in London after school. I mean I I can see why yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know either. at least you didn't end up doing anything with him unless you did at least that's the best thing like you never met him so that's fine okay I once wet myself in Asda <laughs> okay that's fair enough when was, when was the last time I wet myself I definitely have wet myself somewhere embarrassing I feel like <gasps> I don't even know okay I had sex with my boyfriend, <laughs> with my three-year-old niece in the room. <laughs> I'm really concerned. Please tell me. The poor child was at least asleep or not in the same bed as you. I am begging. I am actually begging, but yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> <laughs> this one's made me laugh. I think I'm in love with Ellis. We go to the same school. People actually are so funny because Ellis don't even go to school. We, he literally don't. <laughs> He's, he does an online course. He don't even go out of his house. So I don't doubt you go to the same school as him. <laughs> okay. Um. 
I got my period at school and leaked all over the chair, but I was too embarrassed to tell the teacher. So at the end of the lesson, I got up quickly and tucked under the chair and walked off with my bag behind my back to cover the stain on my skirt. Then I went and got changed into my PE shorts. <gasps> I mean, good thinking. I wouldn't be able to tell the teacher. Oh no, that is awful. That means the person that got in that chair after just saw period blood everywhere. Oh no. Oh, hang on, actually, and then what if they, like, put their hand up and was like, there's blood on this chair, and then the teacher knows it was you that sat in there. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. My ex and I broke up a while ago on bad terms, but I'm still using his Netflix account, LMIO. Fair enough. That That's fine. You do you. Okay. I lost my virginity at 14. You know what? No one's here to judge. <laughs> I'm not judging you. Things happen, do you know what I mean? As long as you're in a relationship, well, actually, you do you, but I just think if you're like, that young, like, <laughs> at least make sure you're in a relationship when you're happy. And I know people that lose it that young and they're still happy in relationships years later, so I'm not promoting it, but I'm just saying that it don't really matter how, well, I'm not saying like eight, be eight and do it, but I'm just saying be safe, be careful, and do it when you're ready. Yeah. Okay, when I was younger, I thought my brother and my cousin were boyfriend and girlfriend, so I told her to kiss him in front of my whole family, and everyone thought I was crazy. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, that's actually funny, I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. My boyfriend was acting really suspicious for a few weeks, so I decided to spy on him. Fair enough, you do you? He was sleeping with my Muslim best friend, so I told her dad as a revenge. I don't know what, what relevance saying Muslim is. You could have just said your friend, but whatever. So I told her dad as revenge. I've never seen her since, and this was November 2019. Did I do the right thing? Oh, I see why that was relevant. I'm not too, like, sure on different religions, so I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure... Do Muslims have to have marriage before sexual relations i'm i'm pretty i don't know i honestly haven't done re since year seven my school forgot about re i don't know why <laughs> we had like in year seven and then that was it anyway um you told her dad okay um i feel like you didn't tell the right you didn't tell the right person i don't know but like you should have been more annoyed at your boyfriend for betraying you but then again if she's your best friend and she's betraying you i feel like Oh, I don't know. I can see why you did it, but I don't think it was specifically the right thing. But, I mean, don't be disappointed in yourself for doing it, because that's your natural... That was what you naturally wanted to do. I mean, probably not the best thing, but it's fine. I, I'd, I'd be just as annoyed. I probably wouldn't... Mm, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be more... I'd be more annoyed. I'd probably be more annoyed with my best friend, actually, yeah, than my boyfriend. I was in trouble once and my mum took my phone and unlocked my eyes only on Snapchat. She found all my nudes, still scars this day. <laughs> okay, so, first of all, why was she going through all my eyes only? It's a bit bloody cheeky. To be fair, my mum probably would as well, just to be nosy. Um, I mean, I, I can't relate because, to be fair, if my mum went my... Oh, no, no. <laughs> my eyes only, no. Um... Uh, <laughs> If my mum saw my nudes, whatever, I wouldn't really care. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just would not care. I'd care if she went in my eyes only, but my if she saw my nudes, I wouldn't care as such because I just wouldn't care. Like, if she's seen me naked, it's my it's my mama. <laughs> I was shagging my boyfriend and my neighbour heard everything and told my mum, your neighbour's a little snake. That's horrible. You should have said, you should have been like, he was hitting me. Maybe actually don't do that because that would have not helped. <laughs> okay. This time last year, I snuck away to Italy for two days with no money and nobody's ever found out yet. I mean, what an adventure. I don't know how you'd get there with no money, but yeah. Okay, so I used to be bullied really bad by this girl, physically. I hope you're okay. That sounded, that looked really sarcastic. It wasn't meant to be. And me and my ex once had sex, and he recorded it and leaked it, but my face wasn't in it. Okay, that's good. 
he then got with the girl who bullied me and when our school found out about the sex tape i said it was her and they both got expelled oh my god no sorry i am proud of you revenge is the best medicine if she's physically bullied you and absolutely ruined you fair enough you do it like that i mean that that's fine i think that's fine probably not fine but like i'd probably do something like that if she's physically bullied you that's payback that's payback i don't know why the school would expel them though because unless they were having the intercourse on school grounds why would the school expel them anyway oh my god i saw my dad looking at photos of naked girls on his phone whilst i was sat right next to him i'm pretty sure my mum doesn't know but now i can't look at him the same god i mean i'm gonna break it to you honey i think all boys and men look at naked girls whether it's your dad or not your dad they all look at naked girls unless they're not straight um but why on earth was he looking at them sitting next to you that's the biggest concern i'm i'm highly concerned about that but it's fine i imagine myself giving birth when i'm in bed what <laughs> why i'm a little bit confused but it's fine i kissed my cousin when we was both drunk at a wedding is that bad yes it is that's weird bloody hell wait what's the song what do they say incest i don't know i'm confused now but that's wrong you do not kiss your cousin oh no okay once at school, I entered a poetry competition and copied the poem off the internet and I won the competition. My poem was put into a book. I've never told anyone this. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that one. <laughs> I have been with a guy a lot older than me at a young age. What is your opinion on the age stuff? Okay, so I'm actually going to talk about this because it really bugs me. Um, I know there's a law, obviously, under 16s and over 16s, not having sexual relations i i'm not being funny but i i think it's ridiculous why can't a 15 and 17 year old be together i don't get it one could be in year one could be in year 11 the other could be in year 12 i do not get it i i don't get it i'm sorry i don't get it that's literally like not even two years apart not even two years and people have an issue with it i i just sorry i don't get it why can't 15 and 17 be together yet 20 and 22 can it baffles me obviously i'm not saying when you're 13 you should get with a 17 year old it's not like that there's a line i mean 14 and 17 starting to be a bit dodgy do you know what i mean but there, i don't see a problem like people are like oh 18 year olds getting with 16 year olds it's two years and that's bloody legal i don't get it i mean obviously 30 and 15 is a little bit odd but these small, teensy little age gaps, I don't get why people have an issue with. I punched my mum and she fell down the stairs and now I'm not allowed to live with her. Why did you punch your mum? Okay. Cool, you do you. Okay. I was with my boyfriend in the supermarket and went to pick up some condoms. I went to put them in the trolley but realised it was the wrong person's trolley. Oh no. I'd be embarrassed, I would. Have I ever had anything like that happen? no i don't think so <laughs> that's funny though i went into my granddad's old laptop to see photos of me when i was young he was looking with me when i was looking i found a folder with baby me on the front cover so i clicked on it and it was old videos my granddad had done with his girlfriend at the time he was there with me i was so embarrassed oh no no I wouldn't be able to look at my granddad the same if I had that same situation. That's awful. Oh my god. Okay. At a holiday park one year, there was this disco on a night for little kids. And one of the work workers there had a big chest. So I put in the letterbox thing, your boobs are so big it's distracting. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is something I would do. On a holiday one year, I kicked a little child off an arcade machine and said there was a monster inside of it i am not kidding you like that is something i would 100 percent have done when i was younger like if i want that arcade machine or just to be malicious to a little child that sounds really weird um i had sex i'm saying like that so i don't get demonetized 
in an alleyway before school. I mean, you do you. You've got to have your morning, your morning pump up, haven't you? I'm joking. It's a little bit odd. I mean, in an alleyway? Fair enough. Whatever. I once made a private account just with one person on it and made a YOLO. I did it with the boy I liked who was going out with my best friend. He said he liked me. He said he liked me, but I've never told her. Oh, are they still... If they're still going out, you need to, you need to tell he, her. Like, you do need to tell her. And, like... Okay, so I'm really sorry, but this video's gonna have to be cut short. Um, well, it's actually not short, it's quite long. But because, basically, my things run out of storage. And I can't delete anything off of it, so... I'm really sad. But, yeah, I can't carry on anymore. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And comment me down below some video ideas. I love you so much.